company may have spoken too soon there, as the Chancellor and the Welsh Government both say they are cracking down on umbrella firms. Now then, the quizium, Griff. <laughs> now, no celebrity square in sight. No. A hundred people are not surveyed in this one. So how does it all work? Well, it works. We go every week. We go to a different museum. That was the, the whole genesis was just the idea that all across Britain, there are fantastic museums which, with extraordinary treasures. Some of the big boys, we all hear about them, we see them on the telly, but they, we go to the Fitzwilliam in Cambridge quite early on, and one of the astonishing things there is they have six Titians there. Now, you know, these are extraordinary pictures, and it's extraordinary that they have them in the National Gallery, but mm -hmm. they also have them in Cambridge. So one of the things I wanted to do was say, let's go to places across Britain, throughout smaller museums in London as well, and have a look at some of the treasures that they have there. So it's a way of doing that. We get them out, we've got people who know about these things, and it, we play some games yeah, so where you, we you ask them some You see beautiful questions. things in all sorts yeah. of places, yeah. lovely yeah. artefacts, don't you? Yeah. And you do like going to museums, because this is a dream job for you, isn't it? Well, it, when uh, years ago, when Mel and I used to go on tour with Smith & Jones, and Mel is a bit of a nighttime person, or he was. Anyway, but he, so he used to, he used to get up to get on the coach to move on at about two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'd spent um, the two morning. Two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was definitely because he'd, he, well, he'd been up most of the night. Right. You know what I mean? But I like to I like to go to bed, get up early, and I'd find myself and I wouldn't know what to do with myself in the morning. So I used to go to the local museum. So this is uh, perfect for you. It's just fantastic. Brilliant. Now tomorrow's program has something that we can all relate to. Good. Have a look at this. <laughs> okay, yeah. Lars. Do you know what oh, it is functionally? Before? Yes. It's, yes. It's a so a glass. It's an ice cream container. Oh. OK, good. I Ask think Andrew knows. Andrew, oh, do you know? I know <laughs> well, who I'm going to give you a, a chance. porcelain ice cream maker was made for. Okay. Yeah. Was it a daughter? Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay, someone okay. really famous who loved ice cream a lot. <laughs> it Madame did. de Pompadour. No, 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 somebody, somebody just as famous. <laughs> well, much excitement for it. The ice cream. That was part of a dinner service yeah. that cost nearly 30 million in no. today's money. Yes. Well, we if, knew. We, we knew. knew. <laughs> if we knew. Catherine the Great, yeah. clearly. And we knew Very she was good. partial to a bit of ice cream, rum yep. and raisin. Okay, well done. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, we've seen you put in your panel yes. um, to task right. about different artefacts. So we thought we'd give you a go. Ready for it? I am, yeah. Now, this is the griff. We believe it dates back to the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> Now then, we've got some questions yes. on this. First yes. of all, let's think about the name. Where does the name Griff come from, do you know? Griff? Mm. Mm. I wonder, is it... Because when I was growing up, mm -hmm. I never met another Griff. And I think they're very, very rare, except in Wales. Well, they're everywhere in Wales. Are they? <laughs> they are. OK, so yeah. I, my guess is it's sort of Welsh. And can I say that doesn't look like Griff? That, that doesn't... You see, to me, that doesn't look like a Griff. That looks more like a Tom Jones. <laughs> That's what I said, or, Alex. That's what I it's said. Just, it's just got a bit more of a sort of, you know... A, yeah. a, a looks a, just a bigger nose and all that sort let's of thing say, going with let's it. Let's not get... No, okay, okay, all right, well, on, I just wanted know. to say we sometimes have these okay. arguments on the programme. Now, Griff, yeah. what is the yeah. purpose of the Griff? The purpose of the Griff? Mm. Ornamental. <laughs> you, I mean, you wouldn't do anything with it. It doesn't really do and It has no function apart sometimes from being used yeah. to sort of, you know, throw in front of things. Full-time disc collector, yeah. I think. And yeah. uh, what would the Griff's legacy be? Legacy? Mummified. I think <laughs> that would be the best thing for it. I don't think there are any collectors of them, as far as I know. Well, you may be able to keep that. It's priceless. Be Thank very you. careful yes. with it. Right, I will. But that's a gift from us to you. Thank you. And do you mind if I give it to Tom? Because it looks more like Tom. <laughs> do what you want with it. <laughs> okay. All right, good. There you go. Brilliant. I think it's uncanny. Uh, the Quizium is on at 8.30 tomorrow evening on BBC4. Yeah, if you get to the shopping channels, come back. Get back. It's before then. Yeah. Um, now, with the security of the full... <laughs> Falkland Islands back in the news. <laughs> He's got it. Uh, Joe. Yes, thank you. Yeah. No, 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 it's not that far away. No. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the way further down towards Sky Arts. How, do you know? How do you know? <laughs> um, now with the Falklands, as I said, back in the news, Joe has the story of one man, his piano and the paras.